Hey, game makers. Something a lot of games do is throw a muffin ton encounters at you and it's like, dude, just let me through this cave! But fear not, your game can be different! Today, we'll be creating a repel item, similar to those from the Pokemon series, to let our players decide when they feel like grinding for hours or when they just want to get through the stupid cave and get to the plot! In short, our item will disable encounters for X amount of steps and then turn them back on. Now let's create a repel item. Feel free to add your own creative name in the description. You'll want consumable on yes, scope can be none, and occasion should be menu screen. Under effects, you'll need to set it to a common event. For this example, we'll be using one called repel item. Next, let's head over to our common event tab. We'll be using two different common events for this. Repel item, which will be what happens when you call the item, and repel process, which will be what's actually doing most of the work. Now, in repel item, Set up a conditional branch with a switch. We'll be using switch 14, repel in use. Make sure that on is selected, and create else branch is checked at the bottom. Click OK. We'll be using this to determine whether a repel is already being used. If it is, we need to increase the quantity of repels by one, since it was decreased when we used the item from the menu, and have a message telling the player it's already in use. Else, if no repel is already active, we'll turn on the Repel is in use switch. Now we also need to tell the game what our current step count is at. Go to Control Variables. We'll be using two variables in total. Current steps, which will be the one we use for counting them, and start steps, the number we initialize when we start it. Here we'll be setting the variable start steps. Have it set to game data and steps. Click OK. Next is change encounter, and select disable and we'll finish this part off with a repel was used message. With that all done, we'll head over to our other common event, repel process. At the top, we have the trigger set to parallel and set to be used when our switch repel in use is on. Now, in control variables again, have our other one, current steps, also equal to the step count as well. Underneath that, we'll need another control variables command. We'll also be using current steps again, but this time, have it set on sub to subtract, click variable, and select our start steps variable. What this will effectively do is set our current steps variable to our current step count, and then remove the original start step count. It's a little tricky to explain, but this will show us how many steps we've taken since we started the repel every time it updates. This is confusing, I know. Now let's set up a conditional branch. It's going to say, if variable current steps is equal to or greater than this number, finish the repel event. The number here is the amount of steps we need to take. We're using 30 for this example because I don't want to be here all day. Then click OK. This next section will basically read as, does player have more repels? If player does, ask them to use more. Else, if player doesn't have more repels, finish using the repel. Add in a conditional branch, and on page 4 in it, select item and our repels. We'll also want to make sure create else branch is checked again. Click OK. So, if the player has a repel, we'll ask them to use another one. If they choose yes, we'll decrease the repel's item quantity by 1, and reset our start steps variable to the current. Again, control variables with our start steps, and set it to steps, and click OK. If the player chooses no, we'll simply change encounters to enabled again, and turn our switch 14, repel in use, off. Lastly, under else, in the case that our player was crazy enough to forget to buy repels, by which I mean has no more left, we'll simply tell them that the repel wore off, re-enable encounters, and again, turn the repel in use switch off. And that is all. Repel gets used, the game tells you you can't use any more, and the numbers update as they should and it either asks you for more, or tells you it wore off. Additionally, don't worry about your repel wore off message activating in cutscenes. It seems as though move reds for cutscenes don't add to the step count at all, so you're good to go there. Now, go add all the repels! <laughs> and, um, if anyone's interested, I've started up a Patreon page. So if you feel like supporting the tutorials, demos, games I make, or random goofiness of someone trying their best, I'd be more than appreciative. Plus rewards and stuff. Anyway, that's all for today, so I'll see you later, gamers!